Now, with regard to the characteristic features of the kingdoms, what is the correct statement was the Kerala PMT 2013 question. If your concepts are good, any entrance exam you will crack very easily. Only thing is, you should think twice, thrice. Are my concepts are strong? Do I have any confusion still? Whether physics ho ya, chemistry ho ya, biology ho, that is very, very important. So, animalia me, what is the type of nutrition? Animalia me. The mode of the nutrition is, uh, is it autotrophic or heterotrophic? So, you should remember that uh, uh, it is heterotrophic. So, that is not true. Then, uh, Monirame, the nuclear membrane is not present. So, it is also not true. Protistame, the cell is eukaryotic, not prokaryotic. So, that is also not true. The plantae have a cell wall. So, that is true statement is what you should remember. So, the system of the classification which is based on um, classification of the plants which is based on uh, which is proposed by two botanists who counts our system thought, was a favorite question of the examiner. Bentham and Hooker they these two guys are going to be your friends until you get your MBBS seat. So, George Bentham and Joseph Dalton Hooker, they created a system of classification which is called as the natural system. In natural system ke baare mein, aapko do teen very important points maalum hona hai kal ke neat UG exam ke liye. Under this system, plants are divided into non flowering plants jo pushp deta hai pushp nahi de sakta so based upon flowers or no flowers phanerograms are the seed bearing plants cryptograms are non flowering plants is what you should remember under the bentham and hooker's classification so plant kingdom may Broadly, they divided cryptogamia, which are the non-flowering plants, phanerogamia, which is uh, the flowering plants. Once more, among the flowering plants, usko do cotyledons rahe to dicotyledons bolte hai. And if they have only single cotyledon, it is called monocotyledon kete hai. Or if they produce seeds which are not enclosed inside a fruit, agar a pumpkin liye to pumpkin seeds ka reta, pumpkin ke andar reta, hai na? Then as if the seeds are not enclosed inside a fruit, orange hai, orange ke seeds ka reta, orange ke fruit ke andar reta. So those plants who have seeds which are not enclosed inside a fruit. They have been called as the gymnosperms is what you should remember. Now among the dicotyledons, you have polypetalae, gametopetalae and monoclamidae. So this is how the natural system. Mainly you should remember, cryptogamia is non-flowering, phanerogamia is flowering. And among the flowering dicotyledons, gymnosperms, monocotyledons, that is how you should differentiate. So, give your, pay your respects to this great man who is going to help you to get seat in the UG to become a doctor. George Bentham and uh, uh, who is this great man? Hooker is whom you need to remember. So, Joseph Dalton Hooker and George Bentham are the ones who classified the plants into the natural system of uh, flowering and non-flowering. And once more, among the flowering, seeds without fruits, 
monocotyledons, dicotyledons, all these things you should basically remember. Now in the five kingdom classification, what is that kingdom which has blue-green algae, nitrogen fixing bacteria and methanogenic archi bacteria? Tension not to lena. Hum in sab cheezon ke baare mein detailed discussion karenge abhi. In sab cheeze monira mein rehta hai. Under monira you have blue green algae, nitrogen fixing bacteria and methanogenic carchi bacteria. These three things you should not forget. Now monira, let's talk about monira. Monira under the five kingdom classification we have monira, protista, fungi, animalia, plantae, right? You will not forget that, right? Now in monira, monira Mona, Mon, Mona bole to kya hota? One, they are one celled organisms. Nucleus nahi hai, isliye they are prokaryotic. And they are the smallest, simplest kind of the living thing, they are all Monira. There are more Monirans than any other kind of the organism in this entire world. That is what you should remember. A Munira ko five properties reta. Every time meet you the examiner, usi question pushte rehte. What are the five characteristics of Munira? Aap garma garam, you have to remember it. Okay? Now, first, all Munirans are prokaryotic. Number two, they are all unicellular. And there is no membrane bound organelles. A membrane reke, membrane to attach hoke, cell organelles hai to, they are called membrane bound organelles. No membrane bound organelles in the cytoplasm. And all monirans have a single circular chromosome. Hamara double stranded DNA reta na hamara. And uh, in this, it is single circular chromosome. And they reproduce by binary fission. They split into two. Split into two. That's how they produce their babies. That is characteristic of kingdom monida. These five properties straight up ke dimak ke andar bad jana chahiye. So, what is meant by prokaryote? The most ancient life forms of bacteria, jin ke paas na nucleus tha, Na chloroplast tha, na mitochondria tha. Aise chizon ko kete hai monirans and prokaryo, which are prokaryotes. Now, there are two major clades of bacteria. Clade hota hai class. What are they? Archie bacteria or U bacteria. U bole to real bacteria, Archie. Archie bole to old bacteria. So, methanogens, extreme thermophiles, thermo hota hai temperature, file hota hai, hota hai love, love for something is called file, right? Thermophile, jada garmi hone ke baad bhi, agar organism can grow in the very high temperature, wo hota hai thermophile. So, extreme thermophiles, extreme halophiles, halo kya hota hai? Salt is called halo. Please remember these uh, prefixes and uh, suffixes. So, extreme salty water may be, agar organism growth ho raha hai, usko kehte hai, halophile. Extreme halophile, extreme thermophile, or methanogens. In teen cheezon ko, archie bacteria kehte hai. Or eubacteria kya hota hai? Blue green algae, Gram negative bacteria, gram positive bacteria, in cheezon ko kete hai, you bacteria. That is what you should remember. Now, according to the five kingdom classification, bacteria belongs to which class among these five kingdoms? Very easy question. All bacteria are monirans, basically. 